Hey you guys, how's it going? It's Paleo here and it's time for another prehistoric animal of the month. This month's prehistoric animal is Longa Squama, which was suggested by Bubbles Are Shiny, also known as Bubbles or Lad. So yeah, he does some pretty cool stuff on his channel, a lot of gaming stuff, and I'll have his links in the description so definitely check his stuff out. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Longa Squama was a small lizard-like reptile from Kyrgyzstan, which is a country in Central Asia. Its name roughly translates to long scales in Latin, obviously referring to those long, flimsy structures that kind of grew out from their skin. The holotype fossil was discovered by Russian paleontologist Alexander Sharov. So I hope I pronounced that right. But yeah, they were found in 1969. Holotype just means that it's the first fossil of which a species is described and found. Sadly, the fossil is really incomplete, so it wasn't until much later on whenever we actually learned more about them. After its discovery, the fossil was pretty much just locked away in a drawer in the Orlov Museum until it, along with several other fossils, went on kind of a traveling fossil show in 1999. A lot of interest for Longus Grama was reignited due to a lot of scientists making various claims about the scales and if even they were scales and they might have actually been feathers. And honestly, sometimes it kind of feels like we discover fossils that are only meant to confuse us. And Longusquama is definitely not an exception here. Because of the debate on whether or not the long structures were scales or feathers, some even made the claim that they were used for gliding. They kind of interpreted the structures as double rows of either scales or feathers that extended out to the side to form a series of quote unquote wings. There was also a time when scientists argued that they were a part of a plant that the lizard just so happened to die on top of. But that claim was quickly trashed when more fossils were found. Nowadays, it's pretty generally accepted that the appendages were still scales as the name suggests and most likely used for display. And from what I've personally studied and researched, Longus Gama was exactly what it looks like. A tree dwelling lizard that used its unique scales for a variety of reasons, those of which I'm going to get into right now. One plausible argument regarding its scales that's not even related to flight is how many rows they actually had. With fossil being so incomplete, there could have been just a single row or a double running along its back and stopping just before the tail. Now most people just say it's one row which in and of itself throws the whole gliding idea out of the window since there's not really much you can do with just one row of long scales. Some other ideas is that they also would have helped Longus Grama set up territories, which is a pretty big advantage given their small size. Another interpretation could be that the scales were kind of like a scare device that was flashed at the moment that predators attacked. The scales themselves actually got pretty long too, longest reaching about 30 centimeters, which is well over the approximate length of their body. They're also shaped quite oddly, kind of bending a bit at the end because it looked like hockey sticks. Alright, now that the scale feather things are out of the way, let's talk a bit about the lifestyle. There's not really too much we know about this, just because of the few fossil events we have, but just because of their small size, it's safe to say that they are probably arboreal, meaning that they spent most of their life in the treetops. The teeth were also really, really tiny and curved, which leads most people to believe that it was insectivore, obviously meaning it ate insects. They were also discovered in the same area as a whole lot of other animals too, including turtles, amphibians, sharks, pterosaurs, and small mammals, all of which could have made up the ecosystem that it lived in. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Prehistoric Animal of the Month. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, make sure to press that like button. And if you're new here and you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. That way you don't miss out on a single upload. Alright, that's it for this video, and as always, keep your pencils sharp.